What's going on everybody? Respawn Gentleman here. So today I'm going to show you a really good early game farming loop that you can do if you're still at the beginning of the game and you just need a little bit of help. Let's get right to it. Now this farming method only takes place in Old Villador. So um, if you haven't progressed enough to get to the central loop, then that's perfectly fine. However, if you do have access to the central loop, there is a much better farming guide I will have linked in the description below. If you want to check that out. So the way you want to do this is there's a few of these places you want to stop. It's mainly these military convoys and uh, the GRE containers that are near them. So I like to start this loop at the Alder Windmill, um, which has a military convoy right next to it. And then right behind that, kind of where this Good Samaritan quest is, there is a uh, GRE container. So that's where I like to start. And you can kind of see on the map right now, I'm showing you, you know, the path that I like to take, the different stops that I make. And, uh, it's absolutely fantastic for early game. Once you get into the central loop, it's not necessarily worth it, but definitely before that happens is really, really good. Now, one thing I will note is that sometimes the uh, containers won't respawn. Um, if that happens, I know that there's at least one container that's always respawned for me. I'll mention that one uh, when I go through, but if they don't respawn, the military convoys at least do, and you can go through those and it's you can still get a ton of stuff so the very first military convoy you can see on the map is right here next to the windmill um so if you're looking from the windmill there's this area which has the gre container which i'll show you in just a minute right down here where this tank and those ambulances are that's the military convoy so one thing you'll want to remember is that most of the time there will be enemies here um luckily there's not this time so all you need to do is go to the back of the tank open that up and there's usually at least one or maybe a few mre rations which do sell for quite a bit um, especially early game it's absolutely fantastic then what you want to do is go to these um, ambulances and you want to pick the locks now uh, make sure you have enough lock picks to do this and then uh, you can get the resources inside so inside this first one, I got some MRE rations and a military med kit. You will, this loop will give you a bunch of military med kits, which are absolutely fantastic if you've never picked one up before. And the second ambulance gave me two immunity boosters and some batteries. You will get also a ton of immunity boosters through this method. It's ridiculous. So after you finish that one, then you'll head over to the GRE container, which is right over here. So from the tank, it's just behind this wall. So let's just go over there now, jump over this and get over here now there will be enemies in this area i'm a bit leveled up so there's a goon here but that doesn't mean that there always will be but it's highly recommended that you kill all the enemies in the area before opening the container because they will interrupt you so once you've cleared the area the container you're looking for is this one right here this one holds a quest so you can't enter it until you have that quest but you need to use your key and open it up now, so this one is one, like I said, for some reason, this one's not responding for me. It has respawned whenever I first did this. I don't know if it's been fixed or not, but basically this chest right here, we will lockpick that. It'll give you some good items. Uh, there'll be a military med pack and an immunity booster around here. And then usually right here, there will be a weapon. But next, we want to head over to this military convoy right here. It's basically just straight down the road from where you already are. So you can just kind of head that way. And I'll show you when you get there. So this military convoy always has a goon and a ton of enemies at it. So you definitely want to take them all out before trying to open up these two trucks as well as the tank. So let me go take care of them real fast. All right. So once you've cleared them all out, you'll go ahead and open this container again. And again, this mostly just has the MRE rations. Um, carefully avoid these because uh, sometimes they will go off kind of like that did. And there will be virals that just show up out of nowhere. So uh, definitely watch out for that. Now for these trucks, also just lockpick them as well. And you can get the items inside. So for the next GRE container, it's actually right behind the military convoy we just did. So it's again just on the other side of the wall. So let's uh, hop on over there and I'll show you where it's at. So once you've hopped over the wall, there'll be this kind of open area that you see over there. And then you'll just kind of hop over this truck and into this area. Again, there's a few zombies here. You can clear them out. They mostly won't bother you, but this is the container that you're going for. I'm going to open it up, and this is another one where I've had the issue where it doesn't respawn. It should, but if it doesn't, that's perfectly fine. Uh, it's helping other chests respawn anyway. 
Again, first time you go in here, you can unlock this chest. There will be a military med pack and an immunity booster, and then there should be a weapon right here. And again, it should respawn, but for some reason it doesn't on mine, but I have seen it respond before. So next, after that, you want to go over to this Night Runner's hideout. It's actually right next to the hospital from the uh, prologue of the game. So this is where you want to go. I'll kind of show you the area around it so you can kind of see what it looks like. Once you get over here, it's this building that you're looking for here, and you're actually trying to get to the top of it if you want to save that as a marker. Um, there's easy way you can access it um, through that building over there. So you can just go across, and again, you can see on the map here, right here, um, if you go from the hospital, kind of, you can go straight here. It's it's really really close to it, and what you're looking for is actually right in front which is this container here. Now, unlike the other ones, this one you actually drop in from the top. And this one, I have not come across a time where it doesn't respawn. So every time you drop in here, this should respawn once you get through the loop. So you can see here's the chest. Go ahead and open this one up. And here you can see I've got uh, some pants and immunity booster. And then over here, I've got the military med pack. Another immunity booster right here. And then there should be yeah, a legendary weapon here as well. So that's what it should be in all the containers. Um, this one is this one is the one that doesn't get bugged out and doesn't and responds all the time. So even if you skip the other ones and just do the military convoys, this will still be good for you. The other thing in here is this GRE chest. So the first time you go, you'll have the GRE inhibitors, but after that, you'll get the military med pack, immunity booster, and then some kind of gear. So this is a really really good one to go to. But you want to make sure that you go through the full loop so this one will respawn. But once you get done with that GRE container directly over to the west, where here is another container. There's nothing around it to really signify where it is. Um, but basically where all this chemical stuff is, this is where you're wanting to go. I'll show you uh, kind of what it looks like when you get over there. What you're looking for is this kind of restricted tower area. And you want to hop over these little fences. I like to jump on top of the newspaper stand and then on top of these little bus stations. You will get hit by some of the chemicals, but that's fine. You'll go through it fast enough. It's not going to hurt you. But all you want to do is come all the way to the end over here. And here is the GRE container. Again, this is one that I have seen gets bugged out. It should respawn for you, but if it doesn't, that's perfectly fine. You can get it the first time and uh, collect the items just like you did before. Now, once you've completed that one, the next place you're going to go is actually a little bit far away. It's going to be this military convoy way over here next to the Larch Windmill. And uh, it takes a little bit to get over there, but uh, it's not too bad. But I will show you that one as well. So once you have reached the Larch Windmill, the military convoy is actually right in front of it. Here's the uh, windmill right here. And then you can see right next to this wall is the convoy this one will always have a goon and some chemical spill you definitely want to take care of them and the good thing about this one is actually the next GRE container is also right in this area you don't have to change areas so you can just kill all the enemies here uh, loot the ambulance and the tank and then you can go get the GRE container okay so now that all the zombies are dead you want to go here to the tank open that up again and Again, this one just has some MRE rations, but like I said, it varies. Sometimes they'll even have a medical med pack in there. And then you want to grab this ambulance here, which this one gives me an immunity booster, some batteries, and antibiotics. And then you want to go grab this uh, truck right here as well. This one, I got a cool sword and some batteries. So now that that's done, the GRE container, like I said, is in this area. Um, that happens, the car will explode <laughs> and have to fight some virals so deal with them and then i'll show you the jerry container all right so now that i've dealt with just open this one up again this is another one that's that's kind of bugged it should respawn but if it doesn't that's perfectly fine open up the chest and grab the items inside and you can move on to the next area the next jerry container is actually over here at this quarantine building in um horseshoe now you won't have this necessarily on your map until you go over here and then you'll get a notification for it um so What's great about this is it's just outside of this. It should, it's actually about right here. Let me show you where that is. So once you get over to this area again on the map, it is right over here at this particular building. And you can see there's the quarantine building and the container is actually right here. We're standing on top of it. Um, there's quite a few zombies in this area. So you want to take them out. Otherwise they'll kind of 
interrupt you while you're getting the door. So take them out. And then once they're gone, you just want to go over here to the door and open it up. So this one uh, happened to work for me. It, it respawned, so <laughs> thank goodness I finally showed one that actually respawned correctly. Uh, but this is what it's supposed to do. Is It's supposed to respawn these chests and the items that are inside the container as well. Again, in this one, I got some shoes, immunity booster. We get the medical med kit and another immunity booster and then another weapon right here. All of this stuff is going to be legendary, especially for the weapons. So it's absolutely fantastic. So the final part for this is going to be the military airdrop that's on top of Jack and Joe's camp. Um, if you haven't progressed the story enough for it to be known as Jack and Joe's camp, that's perfectly fine. You don't need that. Um, that also just means that there shouldn't be any enemies to bother you when you're over there. Um, but this is where you want to go and I'll show you the route that I take to get up there. Make it really, really easy. And especially if there are enemies, it'll help you avoid all of them. So once you get to the building, it's this giant one that says Office Plaza and it says big giant letters, stay away on it. Really, really easy to spot. Um, I've already taken this one over for the peacekeepers, so I don't even need to worry about that. That's not relevant to this at all. So you want to make your way around to the uh, left side of the building and you want to specifically look for this truck. So you'll just follow the path that I'm taking. And this is what I found is the easiest way to get up here. Now, um, I would highly recommend having at least 120 uh, stamina so you can get the bar jump ability as there's one part that um, if you haven't progressed far enough into the game, uh, you don't have enough stamina basically to get all the way up here. Um, the only time you need it really is right here is just when you get to this part, you know, far jump and look at these particular vents. Um, because then you can just jump over here. Now, if you don't have far jump, there are other ways to get up here, but that's uh, perfectly fine to do it. Uh, now, you'll come over here to this chest. You'll open it up, and you'll get some gear, batteries, and then you'll also get some military tech, which does help you upgrade your paraglider. So that's very, very, very useful to have. So to show you some of the things that I got in my particular run was I got six MRE rations, which you can definitely get more than that. Uh, I got a couple of antibiotics, which is good to sell. I got three military tech resources, which are fantastic to get. I ended up getting a unique katana and then two legendary uh, hammers. And then I ended up getting some gear as well. So you can see that this is a really useful loop, especially if the chests actually spawn, respawn like they're supposed to. But it's super great um, for early game. Now, it's, like I said, once you get to the central loop, definitely want to check out that other video on um, the loop for that area because it's so much better and get you way better gear like all this level 9 stuff and it's absolutely fantastic if you enjoyed this video and you want to see more dying light content make sure to like and subscribe you can also check out some of my other videos like the one youtube recommends right over there and if you want to help support this channel you can buy me a coffee at the link in the description below thanks for watching